Okay, so this is um, the finished product. As you can see, it's kind of a, a separate video from the fastener video. Um, but this is my temporary setup. Um, I don't really know exactly where I want to put this yet, but I'll figure it out. I connected, so uh, let me back up, let me back up. So this is the hybrid model, right? And this is important to mention because for those of you who have a 2023 RAV4 and up, and I think that applies to all fifth gen RAV4s, um, but the battery is not located here for the hybrid. It's in the back of the vehicle. So for us to get creative, we can't just simply, you know, use this because that'd just be awkward. This is the jump. That's where you would connect a, a jump box and then jump the vehicle. So I found that this was a really good ground. This was also a really good ground. Um, here is a 12 volt power source. So I connected the wire to that. It came with a little loop that I, you know, I connected to it and I made sure to torque it down and everything. And then for the fog lights, I wanted them to come on only when the lights and the whole system is on. So that means when, when it's night and the parking lights come on, the tail lights come on, all the lights come on, license plates and everything, the fog lights come on. The reason why I want the fog lights to come on always is because these have a really wide beam pattern, which I'll show you momentarily. So with that being said, when the lights turn off or, you know, it's, if it's daylight and what, what have you, the, the fog lights will turn off. So the only lights that will be on will be the DRLs. So that's, that's my temporary setup for now. And I'm going to put, you know, this away for now. I'll, I'll, I will put that back. So don't worry. Here is what the lights look like. So this is the parking light or the fog light. There you go. You see how wide that beam pattern is? It goes all the way out to the edge. This is right where I need the light to be in that area. The reason why is because this will be aiming down on, onto the road and I will be able to see if there are any pedestrians out there, dogs, cats, you know, whatever, children, small children, things like that. So at night, I want those fog lights to be on. Also, also, the reason why I didn't install the switch, little button, I have had a, this has happened twice now where I've drained the battery completely because I kept leaving the fog lights on. So this is a really great way for me to avoid that. The fog lights will never be on if the car is on, if the lights are on, um, except for now. And as you can see, when I walk back to the car, the car, if I turn that off, and even then, if I leave the parking lights on, after a little while, the car will shut itself off anyways, because it'll conserve the battery. So we've got this set up for now until I find, you know, which beam angle works better. Right now I have the passenger side a little bit higher and, and the driver's side a little bit lower by like a couple of millimeters um, because I want to see if those couple of millimeters makes a difference, if I want them higher or if I want them lower. Uh, I, I do, right now they just, as you can see, uh, as you saw, it was like right below the, the headlight. So I want to see if that's too high or if that's just right. So stay tuned. I will make another video tonight, to, you know, while I'm, you know, driving around, running errands, things like that. But I will show you how these work. These are the Simid brand fog lights. These work for Toyota Lexus. Um, they're, they're very, very nice. So they're only about $70. You can find them on their website, Simid, S-I-E-M-I-D.com. Or you can go to Amazon, you can find them there. Uh, do your research before you buy them, though, because there, be, there have been people who bought um, these fog lights thinking that it would work for their, um, their application, and it did. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.